Hi guys, it's Anders. Today we are doing another machine tutorial. We're going to look at how to create your own kit from a sample in machine. If these sorts of videos are helpful for you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It does help me out massively in creating more content for you guys. Now, I've just loaded a sample from my upcoming sample pack and what we're going to do is just go into the sampler section and I'm going to show you guys how to build that into a kit that you could then use. So obviously once you've found a sample you might want to chop it up and have it into your own kit that you can then reuse or use later in another project if you're just uh, grabbing samples and inspiration ideas that you want to be able to use later. So the sample is just here on pad one. Super simple slap bass. If we hit sampler and go to the sampling section, we can then click on slice over here. Sorry, I'm so, sort of half working on recording and half working on a machine with my left hand. So we're on slice. We are in manual mode with auto snap. Do, do, do. What we'll do is go and detect. For some reason, detect has already detected. I might already have uh, added the slices to this uh, file for when you import it into Logic and things like that. So once we've got the slice markers like so, if you select a particular area, it will play it, but equally it will take that portion of audio. So we could take this section and drop that onto two, and take this section and drop that onto three, take this hit, drop that onto four, uh, maybe take this hit and drop it onto five because we've decided those are the sounds we like out of this particular sample. Then go back to the main page and you see we've now got one through five loaded. We're only really using one through four and on those pads are those single hits. Cool, so we've made a kit effectively. What we can then do is rename this. It currently says group A1. If we go towards the top up here where it says new project in A1, I will put a nice lovely arrow in there in post and we double click. We can rename you. We're going to be basic chop thing as an example. Then if we right click down here on where it now says base chop thing, we can do save as, or more importantly, save with samples. And it's gonna save our cut ups here. So we can do save with samples. We are gonna choose where that goes. I am gonna drop it on the desktop just for the sake of it. And we're gonna go base chop thing. Save. Beautiful. Now in the future, we can load base chop thing up. So we can go into here, or tell you what, let's create a whole new group. We go into here. So if we right click again, we've also got the option of open on desktop. Now I've got base chop thing. We're gonna hit open, boom, and it loads base chop thing again for us and that guys is how you take a sample build it into a kit and make it something you can open again later and use in another project i hope the video was helpful for you if it was please like the video subscribe to the channel if you've got any other questions comment below and i will get back to you see you on the next one